Welcome to Money Trees Gaming, the premier X Toes and Block Bones NFT channel on YouTube. This is my personal journey and not financial advice. Please enjoy today's video. Welcome back, all my bones out there, to Money Trees Gaming channel. We have some exciting new features to share with you today as Block Bones has launched a brand new feature today called the Crematorium as well as they've partnered with a game called NFT Clash in which you'll be able to use your Block Bones NFTs in a battle to the death. If you're rocking with Money Trees Gaming, please help me out, cream that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Starting here on the Block Bones website, you'll notice in the upper section is a new tab called the Crematorium. You may be asking yourself, what is the Crematorium all about exactly? Well, basically, you can now take your base layer block bones NFTs and burn them in the crematorium to receive a crate trait and 1000 BNZ tokens. Burning these NFTs has multiple benefits to the holders, and here are just a few. It will drastically increase the rarity based rewards for the remaining block bones NFTs. As mentioned, you'll receive a crate trait of your choice once all the traits are launched. For now, it's just the torso trait available. Reduced collection size means increased value for the remaining Block Bones NFTs. Now, this project is already a mind bender and it just got even more twisted. I think the best strategy, at least for me moving forward, and this has changed and will probably change again and again, but originally I was just going to fuse the highest level uh, trait I could get my hands on. Uh, but moving forward, I'm going to wait until all the traits are revealed so that I can choose the trait crate for my weakest category and try and get a little, little something better uh, than what I have at the time in order to maximize my flare rewards on my bronze uh, base layer NFT. Also, by holding out, I'll be receiving the BNZ from those base layer NFTs all the way until the time when I burn them. And then I'll also be receiving the thousand BNZ at the time of burning. So I'm going to maximize my BNZ rewards and hopefully I'll be maximizing my flare reward rate as well. Hop down in the comments and let me know what your plan is moving forward with the incredible new feature of the crematorium. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Next, I'm even more excited to share with you the new partnership with NFT Clash. In this game, you basically take your NFTs and battle them to the death for weekly rewards and in-game credits based on how you finish on the weekly leaderboard. Again, you guys know that I love the gaming aspect of the NFT community. It's hard to find, so I'm super excited to have this partnership launched with Blockbones. Again, Blockbones is the first NFT project launched by NFT Clash on the Flare Network. So it's going to be super cool to check out. The actual leaderboard for us goes live on Monday. I know uh, the leaderboard is already populated here, but this is for other networks, not Flare. So uh, NFT Clash has uh, apparently already been around for a little while on other networks. But again, uh, Blockbones is the first off the Flare Network to launch here. Uh, you'll see here, you do have to get some credits here. Uh, the dual price is one if you win, two if you lose. Uh, what you simply do is you sync your NFTs. Uh, you see over here on the left, you got to hit the drop down block bones. We're down here on the bottom and your block bones will populate into the screen here. Uh, and then you simply click on sync. Now I'm not going to do it. Mine aren't syncing for some reason right now. And I'm also noticing uh, my base layer NFTs show the picture. Or the ones that I fuse do not. So hopefully this will all be ironed out by Monday. Now you can expect Money Trees Gaming to be hosting a live stream on Monday, and we're gonna test this game out. Now, how does the NFT Clash game work? Essentially, it's a you choose an attack, an attacking NFT, and you'll get matched up against a random defensive NFT. Uh, this is essentially what the um, interface looks like you see the four buttons here. There are four actions that you can take with each turn uh, If we take a look down here The four actions are you can heal which is a move that tries to restore your NFTs health There's a grab which is a strategic move to control the flow of the duel Not exactly sure how that works yet, but we'll obviously be checking that out on Monday You have defend which is the defensive maneuver to protect your NFT from incoming attacks and then of course the attack which is the offensive strike 
um, to deal damage to your opponent. As I said, you get matched up with a random defensive uh, opponent and the NFT Clash's computer al algorithm operates in the background to choose the defender's move randomly. Then the clash occurs, taking into account the moves made from both sides, NFT properties, and each NFT's health points. Most of the time, the health of either or both NFTs will be decreased, but occasionally their health may increase as well. So I think it's going to be almost like a rock, paper, scissors type thing. Um, and I, I can't wait to get my hands on this and see what kind of rewards we're going to be earning, what kind of crypto we're going to be earning. Again, just another great partnership with the Blockbones NFT. We're super excited about this crematorium. Uh, again, I cannot wait to do some of this burning. Again, like I said, my strategy has trained, uh, changed drastically since this has come out today. And I just can't wait to see uh, how many block bones are actually burned here in the near future. I know through the block bones and Xtoads NFT partnership, they plan on burning, uh, I believe they've got 50 block bones NFTs that they're going to burn. So you guys, this is another way to just drive massive value to this NFT project. Hats off Flare community. You're building something incredible. I'm excited to be a part of it. It's going to wrap up today's video. Bones. Take them to the outro. Thank you for watching today's video with MTG. Don't forget to like and subscribe.